Technical descriptions of plants are very useful in the study of floral morphology and help taxonomists in the easy identification and classification of plants. The technical description of a flowering plant must be expressed in scientific language and must be simple, brief and sequential. The description starts with the vegetative characters of the plant such as the type of roots, stem and leaves. This is followed by a description of its floral characters and flowering parts such as sepals, petals, stamens and carpels. The description of vegetative and floral characters is followed by a floral formula and floral diagram which represent the floral description in condensed form. The floral formula is represented by a set of symbols and provides information about a flower such as its symmetry, sex, calyx, corolla, perianth, andricium, gynecium, bracts, bracteoles, staminodes, pistilodes and the number of sepals, petals, stamens and carpels. The formula also explains cohesion and adhesion within parts of walls and in between the walls with the help of symbols. Some of the symbols used to represent the different parts of a flower and the relationships between these parts are as shown. Let's understand the symbols in the floral formula of a mustard flower. The mustard flower is actinomorphic and bisexual. The calyx has four sepals arranged in two rows and the corolla has four petals. There are six stamens arranged in two rows and the gynecium is bicarpillary and syncarpus with a superior ovary. The floral formula of a flower is usually accompanied by its floral diagram. The floral diagram is a graphical representation of the cross-section of a flower and provides information about the different parts of a flower, their arrangement and the relationships between these parts. The outermost pole in the floral diagram is the calyx, followed by the corolla, andricium and gynecium. The floral diagram presents information about a flower such as its sex, symmetry, bracts, bracteoles, the number of floral walls, the calyx, corolla, andricium and gynecium. Like in the floral formula, Various symbols are used while drawing a floral diagram as shown. Thus, the description of a flowering plant provides vital information about the plant. The description begins with the vegetative and floral characteristics and is followed by the floral formula and the floral diagram.